I decided to make this very short video because of the problem I'm currently having and to show you exactly how you can actually fix it. This is a HP, you know, Elite Desk 800 G3 Mini and the problem is this. I'm just going to show you, you know, I'm going to connect this. This is a 65 watts power supply that came with the PC. I'm going to connect it, you know, right here. As soon as I connect this, uh, you know, power supply to the PC and hit the power button, then this is what happens. The PC keeps flashing, you know, this red, and it goes four times white, and goes again, one, two, three red flashes, and then four times white flashes. This keeps going on and on and on, and the PC doesn't boot, and I was just wondering, what, where could the problem be lying? You see, this PC is actually the HP Elite Desk 800 G3 Mini 65 watts. You know, it's max 65 watts. But then the CPU on this PC is a 65 watts TDP CPU. So it's a Core i5-7500. See, this PC also supports 35 watts, you know, TDP CPU. So it's very possible that you have gotten your PC. Perhaps you bought it online. And then the seller had erroneously, you know, included a 65 watts power supply on this PC. Even though the CPU on this system is a 65 watts TDP CPU that will naturally require a 90 watts power supply. So if you keep using this 65 watts power supply for this CPU, it's not going to work. Are you going to be getting this kind of, you know, you know, three times red blinking and then four times white light blinking? And this is very annoying and this was the problem I was battling for quite a long time until I found the solution. The solution is this. I finally got a 90 watt power supply. I don't know if you can see it. See, it's marked here, 90 watts. I got a 90 watt power supply. And then if I connect this 90 watt power supply to this PC, as you can see, just like that, and I hit on the power button, it's gonna quietly boot up. All right, look at it, the white light is stable. And if you take a look at the monitor right here, I'm just going to kind of show you so that you, you see what I'm talking about. Take a look at the monitor right here. It's booting up onto the you know, monitor screen. This is exactly the problem. So let's say you have a 35 watts TDP CPU on this system. Then the 65 watt power supply you are using will definitely work. But the moment you have a 65 watt TDP CPU on your PC, you definitely need a 90 watt power supply to power on this PC. This might have been an error from the seller. You know, the seller just took the PC, put it in the box, and then included the 65 watt power supply, even though the CPU on the PC is actually 65 watts TDP. So the difference is this. If your CPU is the T model, let's say the Core i5-7500T model, then you can use the 65 watts power supply. But if your CPU, for one reason or the other, is a 65 watts TDP CPU, for example, the Core i5-7500, definitely you need a 90 watts power supply. So if you are having the same problem, before you go about troubleshooting your PC, you know, giving it to a repairer or a technician to see what the problem could be, you know, buying a new RAM stick or trying to feed the PC to the point of being frustrated. What you want to try first of all is to make sure that you try out your power supply, make sure the power supply actually is the one that's supposed to work with the CPU model that you have installed on your PC. I hope this video helps you. It's a quick one, impromptu one. If it did help you, please go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel until I see you again in the next one. Peace.